I remember the day like yesterday. I'm arguably CBB's biggest fan, being it one of my main obsessions. Today at 2.10, I was like, you know, I think I watch CBB's. So I went to my mom's room. The TV turned on. The 2002 dance Ident played with the giggling Tommy music as usual. Then Sid appeared and he said, Hi, I'm Sidney. And was about to say something, but he couldn't finish what he was saying, because the TV soon turned off by itself. An unknown voice said, Sorry, we have a major breakdown. Spot on your spotlight at bbc.co.uk slash cbbs, and enter your special code as a prize. Remember, ask your parents before going online. Until then, accompanied by a lullaby, a caption appeared reading, Whoop. We have a problem. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. After a minute, Sydney reappeared, repeating the bulletin, but this time adding his own occasional droll comments after stories. Eleven minutes into his broadcast, he looked to the men behind him in desperation. Anything else? He asked. There was nothing else. The caption reappeared. Eleven minutes later, there was a scream bug and the CBB's logo dot appeared. A few seconds later, it disappeared. I will never forget that day. It was June 18, 2019. That was the day our family changed. I have a condition where I can't sleep. Nobody except my family believes what I saw. My brother Justin got paranoia and had to see a therapist. My sisters Kara and Sarah Jane are now very crude and like gore. They are mean to certain people. My sister Ryan is always depressed and hates her job. She wants to be at home and cry all day. My brother Aiden got into a car crash on his way to school. He is now in a wheelchair and can't walk. The power cut is why my family is like this. I wish this never happened. I almost threw up. Kids were crying and having tantrums, and the yellow bugs, stuck in a lift, went berserk. It's my nightmare. At least I'm alive, for now.